In Orchestrator, with the SD-WAN service selected for Traffic Analytics, we navigate to the Monitoring tab. Then select our target site by selecting the associated edge. There has always been an application view that provides reporting on top bandwidth consuming applications. You have the ability to double click into an application to report on the top user of that application or the transports utilized. However, for troubleshooting application performance issues for an individual user, we need more. The new flows tab provides user level insight into historical traffic flows with the ability to quickly search for things like source or destination IP address, applications, or destination domain. Filtering capability can further refine the search results to constrain the output based on conditions, which can prove to be useful when troubleshooting complex user application performance issues. The outputted flows in this table are constructed based on six tuples to provide this end-to-end -end view of flows and sessions, those being the source IP, destination IP, destination port, protocol, link, and start time. Source port is purposely not included, allowing us to collapse internet activity from a single user where browsing for individual tabs typically results in different source ports and it results in an abundance of disjointed activities. The column displays can be turned on and off to customize what is reported as needed. The DPI engine classifies the application and this table helps the admin identify the route for the traffic and if delivered in the overlay network, which next hop node the traffic will be delivered to. As in this example, where the edges SD-WAN management traffic was backhauled through a cloud gateway, whereas the SSL traffic was locally broken out for direct internet access at the edge with no overlay delivery, thus no next hop here is displayed. Again, the data displayed is an aggregate of five minutes for each flow, which is reflected in the start and end time. If we search back past the two weeks threshold, you'll notice the flow aggregates for one hour worth for each flow. The filtered data or up to 60,000 flow records can also be exported as a CSV file for offline investigation or to parse programmatically. Again, please keep in mind that this is the first iteration of flow visibility with more capabilities to come in future releases, which include ability to drill down into each respective flow, exposing more route information and identifying things like the executed business policy or the ability to go in live mode to display the real-time flow activity. However, today live active flows can be retrieved from the diagnostic page, which issues an API call to pull the live information from the edge in real time.